Not the kind of face you want to start your day off to. But we are safe. So give me a moment to do what I do. Okay, so we've got everything sorted out. We're ready to proceed. It's probably going to be our last save room of this journey. So one more bite for the road. That's the last time I let you guys do that. So I hope you enjoyed your last meal. No more biting off of me. That's right, this is officially a story about hip hop. Okay, so oh, as you can see, we've got these vents, mysterious red button in the center. It's probably something that's no good. We're going to cover up these vents. You know, just uh, say in the event that there's some poison gas linked to them, and there is, and <laughs> please don't die. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna set off immediately. I thought it was gonna ask me if I wanted to hit the button or not, but no, it's it's automatic. So, no worries. It wasn't an instant death, so we're good. Let's try one more time, please. This time, taking great care to avoid the big red button because nothing good ever comes from a big red button. Sonic Boom should have showed us all that much. Though I really shouldn't talk, I've never dealt with it firsthand, but just from what I saw on screen, yeah, didn't look like a really good way to spend your time or money. So, yep, just made a jump cut because that took a lot longer than it needed to, just getting these boxes around. And air shaft of course we're going to enter it i don't know how chris fit but he did and aha we unlocked it i think you know where this door leads and never mind the cadavers look like mummies at this point and how you liking that look at all these magnum rounds this is the payoff for being good little boys and girls and saving up so we have uh, another passcode machine was I smart enough to bring my modus? Guess I was. So there we go. Passcode 2. Another excerpt from Genesis 22. Maybe you're more familiar with it, but there it is. This in he's taking possession. Pleasant stuff, right? Unless you're on the other end of that. And yeah. So that's the big lesson in Resident Evil. Don't be a Rambo. Save your ammo goes a long way though really I was probably a little more conservative than I had to be but you know why take the chances <laughs> yeah better safe though really you could get by with the knife if you absolutely had to because a lot of enemies can be avoided and looks like I spoke too soon on that last meal <sighs> what you gonna do I really don't care at this point because we're just pushing forward, we're almost done. This is one of the most obnoxious sections in the game and that would be why. Everybody say hello to the Titter Monkeys, also known as the Chimera. They are a pain to deal with. In the remake they're a lot easier because the Magnum will take them down in one hit like it will with most things. In this game, they, they take way too many hits I think so. And they tend to get on the ceiling, as you can see. So we found the last Modus machine. And I realized that I don't have the third Modus, and I should have it by now. So something is amiss. Something went wrong. Something I'm going to have to figure out very quickly because we're, again, in the last stages here. You know, again, this is the fourth quarter. No time to be dropping the ball. Okay, so got this rather intimidating large machine here probably related to power source and I'm having troubles getting him to target the computer terminals hello perspective hello tank controls lovely combination okay triggering system it's quite big yep we did take note of that just a moment ago didn't we <laughs> I wanted to access that other terminal yeah this one yeah, there we go. Elevator power's off. 
Of course I'll connect it. Except it isn't supply. Of course it's not. Because that would be too easy. Yeah. Okay, so there's something in this area that we have to access. And I, of course, I have no recollection of where that might be. So just give me a moment to, you know, collect myself. Tread a path here. Make a way. Lose some blood. Take a hit. Run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> oh, how's a lot of a lot of untimely close-ups here. Folks you don't want to be seeing late at night, I know that. Oh. 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 They got me in danger, guys. Danger, danger. So I need to not engage them anymore. Not that I really was trying to. Because they could breathe on me. And that'll be the end of it at this point. So I need to book it back to that box and pull out something. But before that, we're going to make a rather abrupt jump cut. Here is where that other mode disc was that I missed. And I knew there was something up with that boulder. And I was a little uneasy about leaving it without triggering it. But apparently you had to walk up right up on it in order for it to come at you. So that's what we needed to do. And here we should find a map of the underground. Yeah, that's going to be really helpful right now. Thanks. But even more so. The last mysterious modisk. Okay, so we got that. Let's jump back to the lab, shall we? But first, let me just show you the path that I took. So as you can see, you still have access to this area even after getting into the lab. So yeah, very good game design in my opinion. Very expansive open world adventure in a sense. <laughs> so here we are back in the lab. So good going guys, that was very, very well done of you, very well thought out. So really, if you think about it, you could still access the mansion proper too if you wanted to. I mean, in the event that you actually felt compelled to go back for something, maybe there were some extra herbs or ammo you left behind, and theoretically you could go back and get it. So, a waste of time, but you know, it's up to you. I really do like that. I know in a lot of situations, you know, in a lot of games you get this far into the game, you can't really go back. So, I really do like that. For example, even in the same series, Resident Evil 4, 5, pretty much from Resident Evil 4 onward, that was not an option. There's no going back. There was not a sense of this, you know, a whole location where everything was tied together. Everything was part of one world. Everything was just kind of disjointed. And you're always moving forward, so you don't really think about it, but, you know, it's nice to be able to have a sense of being in a circle, you know, because we live in a circle, we live in a globe, so, you know, it's nice to be able to have access to everything at all times. I think that was very well done on their part. And these guys are still kind of having their way with me. And, yeah, come on, Chris, pick yourself up. We don't have time to play with the tittle monkeys right now. I'm afraid. But we do have time to deal with this. Except I didn't. Yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I did not find the power source yet. Whatever you might call that particular machine that we need to keep the ball rolling. Before these things kill me. <laughs> There's too many of them too, and they probably respawn too, and that's another reason I'm trying not to deal with it. Not gonna lie though, they're kind of irritating, and I kind of want to unload this magnum on all of them, but trying to keep my cool, trying to stay patient. Easier said than done these days. Yeah. So that was almost bad. I almost missed that mode. This almost failed to do something important. Which will hopefully get sorted out before the end of this one. And where am I going? Do you know? Because I don't. Help me out. Anybody. Hello, hello, hello. We'll never get out of this maze. We'll never get out of this maze. We'll never, ever, ever. 
and we're gonna get out of this maze looking like and perspective in this really hurts me it does <laughs> but we'll make it eventually and I'm, I'm i'm fed up i've had it up to here and yeah see it's uh, another thing too this one doesn't have auto aim so it's very very tricky a lot of shots that should be sure things really just end up being shots into the ether hitting absolutely nothing and nothing in between and it got me in danger again so I switched to the shotgun because it's got that spread factor going forward and oh man yeah I'm just wasting ammo at this point because I shouldn't even be bothered with them but I'm, I've had it and they don't care <laughs> one bit <laughs> They could care less, except they couldn't. And oh, bad time to reload. Still got one off though. Yeah, these things take too many hits. What's going on? They should not be this tough. They look like they're just exposed flesh. I mean, come on. Can't be that strong. Except apparently, good. Okay, is it just me? Was the shotgun better than the Magnum with them? It's not right. It's not cool. It's not how it's supposed to be. Oh, no. I'm on danger. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> so, Chris, how's your running, man? Oh, man. And are those zombies still around? Okay, good. Good. Because I really don't have time for any more bites. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is not going good. All right, what do I need? Anything that heals, that will do it. Take a couple, because I'm about to use one right now before it's too late. Here we go. Okay, that could have went better, but it could have went worse. Okay, so guys, here's the game plan one more time. We're going to find this power source. We're going to activate the power and we're going to get out of D-O-D-G-E A-S-A-P. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, again, they worked my last nerve. So I'm gonna waste all my ammo dealing with them. And why do they take so many hits? I mean, they're hard enough to hit. I mean, look, I'm making the guy spill madness and he's still not dead. Okay, now, now he's dead. Okay. Now, if I get calm, you know, get my bearings, kind of figure out where I can go here. Yeah, let me see. What's up on the other side? It's somewhere in this area. Okay, that's a big circle. And okay, that's nothing. That's just scenery. Yeah, I'm just hitting the action button on everything, just trying to trigger something. It was probably hmm, not up there. Probably over here. Yeah, I was headed this way earlier, then I got sidetracked because they were kind of ganging up on me. This is where, yeah, I think this is where I was going to go originally. Yep, that looks like it. Yep, some areas do not have power, of course, we're going to activate the power. And, wait, I don't trust it. Is it on? Okay, I, I have to assume that it's on. Okay, another jump cut because we already wasted enough time. So I had to go back to the triggering system and activate that terminal. So now the elevator should have power. First, I'm going to sort out my items real quick at the item box. So if you'd be so kind, just give me another moment here. And. I think we're in the last stages. What do we need? 
What do I have? Yep, this is the time to take all that stuff. And use that. Go back in. And just had to get some more magnum rounds. And you didn't see that, but trust me, we did. Because I was empty. Now, before we take that elevator that we went through all that trouble to activate, we want to see about that door. You know, that locked door that required the passcodes. And I really don't want to waste any more ammo if I can avoid it. Not on these guys. Except you're kind of in the way and I kind of don't want to take any more hits, so... I think I kind of have to do something about that. Something like this. Dearest apologies. All you had to do was shuffle the other way and that could have been avoided. But you weren't having that. Okay, so let's see about this. There we go. That's some heavy duty security, so what could be behind this door? You gotta wonder. We won't have long to wait to find out. I can tell you that. And. Hmm. Chris! Jill! Chris, Wesker, he is. I, I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. Oh, really? Thanks, because we don't want you to get away, do we? Hate to miss you again. Way to be a jerk, Chris. You could have let her finish what she was saying, you know? She could have told you, I don't know, Wesker is sneaking up right behind you. Wesker is your father, you know? Don't assume. Don't assume. But anyway. So everybody, Jill is still safe and sound. Probably a little hungry, probably a little bored, but she's in one piece, so. This is how you get the best ending. Find the mode disc, open up that cell door. But her door is not going to open up until, well, just wait and see. In the meantime, I think we have an elevator to deal with. And kind of wonder what's going on with Rebecca. We haven't seen her since we've been in this area, but you know, she's pretty resourceful. I'm sure she's doing okay. In fact, we may be seeing her very, very shortly. So yeah, we want to push it. Chris! Hmm, there she goes. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, did he just give her a curfew? And if he did, it's kind of late for that, isn't it? That would have been helpful, uh, I don't know, a month ago, maybe? Yeah. Chris playing too late daddy here. But he means well. Chris, as my subordinate, you Snap. have talent. 